So the Kevin Gates dead game situation, man, how you meet Kevin Gates and how did that situation come about? Well, I was already um, hottest DJ in the city, throwing all the biggest parties. Um, I was on the LPFM radio station. So um, my partner was a promoter. His name was Rashad Cave, uh, R Cave man on Instagram, but he was my roommate in, uh, in college. Mm. And um, he started throwing parties. So he was the promoter and the promoter and the DJ were basically roommates. And right. so since he started throwing parties, he hooked up with this dude named Jason Hughes that was uh, that owned the club. And Jason Hughes' homeboy was uh, a popular D-boy in the city. You know, a uh, 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 big, big money, big money investor, uh, a big money investor in the city. Right. And so we're always hanging out in the club atmosphere, uh, a guy named Travis. And so Travis was like, Man, I'm starting a record label with my uncle. And uh, I want you to help me out with it, you and Rashad. And so it was like, cool, because we always we were always hanging out together anyway. And right. we was always friends first. And uh, when he started um, the Dead Game, uh, he started Dead Game Records. He had this artist named Kevin Gates. And it's, a, it's real easy to promote an artist when one of your best friends is a club owner. Your other best friend is a promoter, and your other best friend is a um, is a radio jock. So yeah. you could imagine all of the people that you normally would have to pay, you don't have to pay because they're your homeboys and they got right. skill sets. So you ain't got to pay for no graphic design because your homeboy is a graphic designer. You ain't got to pay for no radio spins because your homeboy is the radio jock. You ain't got to worry about your music getting hot in the club because one of the hottest club promoters is your homeboy. You ain't got to worry about finding a venue or a club because your other homeboy is a club owner. So all of the pieces really kind of just came together. And uh, Travis was really, it was really genius mastermind for putting together such a great team because right. pretty much everything that, that Kevin needed in order to make it was already there. You know, a lot of times artists talk about how hard they had to work to make it. Oh, I had to I had to grind my ass off on my own and all of that shit. Man, Kevin Gates, everything was laid out for him. You know, he had an apartment paid for. Uh, he had a car, record label paid for, brand new bins that the record label had paid for. Right. He didn't have to pay for no radio spins. He didn't have to pay for no club spins. He didn't have to fight for no shows because he had a real uh, engaged CEO that um that put all of the pieces together in order for his his success to come into play like i don't think there's a rapper um in the history of probably louisiana or the whole rap game that had as much help to make it as kevin gates did i mean with the help surrounding him i mean that was like opportunity you know but you wouldn't call it season the opportunity season the moment i mean he did you know put in work but you know Everything well, when you talk about seizing, when you talk about seizing the moment. I mean, the moment was so laid out and perfect that there really wasn't much to seize. It was just really just going to do what everybody told you to do. You know, 